you might have heard that it's possible to buy property with your super. There's residential property and then there's commercial property. Each has their own set of rules. And in this video, we're gonna focus on commercial property. So even if you're considering residential property, it'll be good for you to watch this one to get an understanding of the different rules and maybe consider an alternative. G'day, I'm Chris Trano, the founder of SuperGuy, the place where Australians go to maximize their super and build their own retirement plan. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified each time I release a new video. And if you get value from this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It takes two seconds and it lets me know that you like the videos and motivates me to make more. Righto, let's get into it. A common reason for people wanting to set up a self-managed super fund is the fact that they can pull their super with other family members or business associates to purchase direct property. But how is it done and what are the pros and cons? Let's take a look. A self-managed super fund must have less than seven members. The large majority of SMSFs will be spouses, but sometimes will include children or instead of family will be business partners. Unlike an industry super fund or retail super fund, which has a limited investment menu, a self-managed super fund can invest in almost anything such as property, artwork, cryptocurrencies, and of course shares, managed funds and term deposits. However, before you invest your SMSF money into something, you must make sure that your SMSF trustee which is the rule book of your fund allows for it and your SMSF investment strategy allows for it, which is a documented strategy detailing what your fund can and can't invest in and what its objectives are. And obviously you need to ensure that super legislation and regulations allow for it. Now in relation to property specifically, if you were to purchase a residential property within your SMSF, the property must be rented out to a non-related party and cannot be used by you for any personal use during the period when it's owned by the SMSF. However, when it comes to commercial property, referred to in super language as business real property, you are permitted to lease it to a related party. For example, your own business. And this is actually quite a common practice, whereby maybe a medical professional will own the premise in which they practice out of inside their SMSF, and their medical business will pay rent into their SMSF. Or maybe a wholesale company will own a factory within their SMSF, and the wholesale business will pay rent into the SMSF. Or in this case, a shop owner. Even though the owners of the business and the members of the SMSF are the same people, each party involved, the business, the individuals, and the SMSF are all different legal entities. The business real property can even be purchased from the business or from the individuals and sold back to them at some stage if desired. Importantly though, all transactions, purchase price, sale price, rental income, everything must be conducted on an arm's length basis. What about borrowing to invest? Can you borrow within the self-managed super fund to purchase the business real property? Yes, you can. Borrowing is allowed and the way this is set up is through what's called a limited recourse borrowing arrangement or LRBA. In this instance, a separate trust known as a bear trust is set up within the SMSF. The bear trust holds the property, which is purchased using a combination of SMSF money and a loan from a lender. All rental income is still paid directly into the SMSF bank account and all loan repayments are paid from the SM SMSF bank account to the loan provider. Once the loan is repaid in full, the bear trust is closed down and the property is transferred into the SMSF. Importantly, the bear trust can only hold one property. The lender's recourse is limited to that property only. And while there are borrowings against the property, the property is unable to be developed or improved upon. So there are some rules. So what are the benefits of purchasing business real property within an SMSF? Well, despite not being able to access your super balance or take it out of the superannuation environment, you do have access to the funds to purchase a property that you are essentially paying rent to your future self on. Your future self also benefits from the future growth in the property value. And all of the rent received on the property and growth achieved is taxed at a concessional rate within super. Now, in reality, you could do pretty much the same thing in your own name or within your business and not be limited with the restrictions associated with super, but the earnings tax may be higher 
and you may not have the capital or borrowing capacity available to make such a purchase. So this is where using funds within your SMSF can be beneficial. But please just make sure that you're aware of the costs associated with uh, SMSFs, limited recourse borrowing arrangements and professional advice, because these can all add up very quickly. What about the disadvantages and the risks of purchasing commercial property? Well, for one, as I just mentioned, the cost can be higher compared to purchasing the property in your own name. You're also limited with how much you can borrow and are unable to complete renovations, improvements or develop the property in any way if there are borrowings associated. Another risk is that your SMSF may lack diversification. For instance, if your total SMSF value or the large majority of it consists purely of this one commercial property, then you should consider what would happen if your business or the business you lease it to goes bust or can no longer afford the rent. You know, what happens if the property declines in value over time? What happens if costs associated with the property, such as rates, loan repayments and maintenance, are higher than the rent being received? What if one or more of your uh, members within the SMSF needs pension payments from the SMSF? How are these going to be funded? You are putting all of your retirement capital in one single asset and in hindsight may realise that simply investing your super in shares or managed funds or within a low cost industry super fund would have not only been much simpler and cheaper but also produced higher returns. Another risk that not many people consider is what would happen if the majority of your SMSF consisted of the commercial property but one of the members wanted to no longer be a member of the fund or you had a falling out and they wanted to leave or one member dies. Their portion of the SMSF would need to be paid out in cash or transferred to a different super fund. If the SMSF does not have uh, adequate cash to cover this, then the property may need to be sold, which could interrupt your business uh, or even be sold at an inopportune time. You also need to make sure the property you purchase comes under the definition of business real property and continues to satisfy that definition for the entirety of the time that the SMSF owns the property. Business real property is an interest in land or buildings used wholly and exclusively in one or more businesses, and only a business real property can be leased to a related party. So as you can see, there are benefits in purchasing commercial property within an SMSF, but you really need to be fully aware of the costs, uh, risks, and the disadvantages of doing so too. SMSFs, property purchases within SMSFs, and limited recourse uh, borrowing arrangements are complex strategies with many things to consider. So getting professional SMSF advice is highly recommended. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the processes involved in using your super to purchase commercial property. Before you go, in the comments below, let me know what topic you would like to see a video on and I'll add it to my list. And if you've learned something new from this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you want more exclusive superannuation tips, head over to superguy.com.au and sign up to my newsletter. That's where I share my best content. Stay super.